so let's not do that. I guess it hasn't started yet. Um, let's just find some normal games of chess. Why not play a f five minute game? Yeah. So I'm playing five minutes plus two seconds every time I make a move now. Um, D4 seems to be what everybody plays now. It's so annoying. Gone are the days where E4 was a common thing. Uh, you can do a lot of responses to this. There, there. Take. I actually play this one. Um, it's actually a really crap spot for your knight because most of the time you want to push this C pawn, but you get some really good counter attacking opportunities. Um, here's an example where it can start to get a bit, a bit messy from the white point of view. I think if I develop knight here, knight there, I win my pawn back eventually, or I get a lot of pressure on his position. Um, so we can see what this this eventuates into. Do a check with the idea that if he blocks it there, which is the more sensible square, um, or the more natural square, I'm going to take this pawn now. Um, and he'll have to take back that side. It, yeah, it opens up there, but it'll give him double pawns. Yeah, sweet. Take there. Now if he takes me, I can throw in a check. I don't have to worry about him taking my queen because the rook's defending it. Even if he went, like, uh, for example, check to attack the knight, I just moved the knight back. Uh, so I've got my pawn back. He can't castle. Okay, my position isn't great. But it's also not completely shit. So I want to try and reduce his movements. Like if he got a knight in there, that gets really annoying. Um, so the big question here is, I don't think I want to castle. He's trying to stop me from castling. Because uh, because he doesn't have a dark square bishop. That square is actually really nice and safe. So I'm just going to go there. Let's see if he takes me, thinking that he can control the, the D file with his rook. Um, which is great, but it's a temporary move. The only problem with putting my king there is that was sort of where I was going to escape my knight to. So I'd have to rethink rethink that plan. Uh, oh, that wasn't a bad move. To ruin my pawn position. I was actually planning on going there. If he takes rook across and it's pinned. Uh, but my bishop's on free. So, and if I take his bishop, he's got check first. I could move across, he takes my rook, I take his pawn, but I don't know if I can win that knight back, and I might get a bit messy. I think I'm gonna just going to ruin my pawn structure instead. Uh, now if he takes me, I take back, um, it's going to make those two squares really strong for him. Thinking rather than going this way, maybe I should do something like this. But then if he puts his rook there, my knight's sort of going to be trapped, so let's just run back. Here's just as good. Or even here. Oh, he missed his chance at uh, getting a really nice... Getting some space. Actually, he should really get a piece there to throw into this square, because that would be really annoying. I think I need to try and uh, kick his knight out. Or I need to attack that pawn. So instead of going there, I'm now going to go there with the idea to go to there and put some pressure on that pawn. Okay, yeah, he can take, take, attack my pawn. Uh, but I'll just... Really? I think that would have been a much better move because this guy would have been hard to defend. So now I'm going to put pressure on that pawn. And now he has struggles defending it. You've, you've really got to take your moments when you can. Uh, he has four minutes on the clock still. So he's only used a minute. Uh, that was quite a critical move for him. So he should have really thought about that more. Not to say that I'm the be all and end all. but um, Okay, so just make sure there's no, no sort of tactics. Again, last thing I want to do is take there. Because he's got check and then a really strong spot for his knight. So, I'm just going to take the pawn. Actually, he should have even thought about moving this bishop away. So then if I take it, he can go there. 
Now the question is, do I care if his knight goes there? Because I can either keep my pawns together. Take with that. Start to give him some options to move into. Take, I don't want to take with the king. Or I can take with that. It opens up the b-file, which isn't good, but at least it, it really controls this knight. Or for now. You know, if he just moves it somewhere like there, he can easily start to get some annoying... Some annoying squares. So actually, maybe taking with the knight would have been a better idea. And then if he checks me, I just, I just move out of the way. Okay, let's think about this pawn. Do I want to save him? Yes. Knight back actually does a really good job of blocking everything off. It would be interesting if he pushes that up. Because the problem is, yeah, it'll give his rook a nice square, or he'll be able to defend that d6 square, but it'll just completely activate this knight. Because this knight at the moment, shit, just can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. Need to think about removing him. Maybe like that. I'm trying to think of how I can threaten things at the same time. Because I did think knight there, then rook up, but then it doesn't really do anything. Let's go down. Because what he could be thinking as well is there, bishop there, and then putting a piece on that square. Oh, I don't like that plan though. So I'm just going to go back. Now he's given me a square to go into. Yeah, and I can just defend that really easily by putting my rook there. And if he wants to try and take the open file, I'll probably go check and then put my knight there to block it. Yeah, he could push the pawn, but it starts to really weaken things. Uh, okay, so I don't think I want to take with my knight, because at the moment, my knight's really annoying, because it's sort of stopping his knight from moving, because if that moves, I'll win that pawn. Hopefully he'll do something stupid like move the king across to try and run it in, um, which case I can go there, and those two things are attacked at the same time, but let's see. Get my king somewhere a bit more cent central. That pawn he's like never going to win because he can't get his knight to attack it. So uh, I might just run my king across. Actually, I do need to choose the right moment to play a move like that. Because it'll free up this knight, but he'll have to go back and back and it's not going to be a nice. Or I can run my king around. I do like his knight being stuck there. Let's just run the king across for now. Because uh, he's over pushing his pawns and they're not really supported. Um, like I said, that's quite safe. Just do something like that. Hopefully he'll take it, then I can run my king up next move. So now I can start to, to be a bit more threatening. Threatening moves like check, winning that. He's got to be a little bit careful here. Let's just put some more pressure on this bishop. I don't want his knight to come out easily though. But uh, at the moment, he sure he can defend it, but then I've got to check and then things start to look pretty up for me. So his king's sort of trapped at the moment. I'll go there. Should I have taken his bishop? No, he doesn't move like that. Ah, oh, yeah, I probably should have taken his bishop. But uh, this is fine for me. I was actually thinking if I could checkmate him. Let's let him attack my pawn. Like the knight's defending it still, so I'm just going to go after this guy. Or even run my king up here. Put some pressure on that. 
I thought I could actually do that before I made him, but that's worse for you. So, uh, let's go there. Now I'm protecting that pawn, I'm attacking that pawn. This knight's stuck. Really, he's going to go king there or king there. And I'll just run my king around and then win this. I think. The good thing about having these two pawns here is they sort of block this whole way in for the king. Um, so he really needs to get his knight over here or something. Uh, that's the problem with having just one bishop. If you have two bishops, this open space would be really useful. Um, and they can cause a lot of problems, but just having the one... It's not going to help him too much. So I'm now... I've got, I can either take that pawn, or I can run around. Let's take the pawn. Because the thing is, the knights are defending each other as well. Uh, it's fine. I'm just going to run this pawn up. My knights are going to help support it, and I should be able to win. Maybe. It's getting into a deep thing here. He's probably thinking whether he should get rid of that knight. I'm trying to think of the best way to bring his piece around. Because he's got to be careful for a bunch of weird checks at some point. Check. He's going to put his king there. Maybe. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So I'm actually changing plans. I'm going to run my king straight across to this side now. Because his king is so far away. And just start winning pieces over here. So I can actually block his king now. And I'll just run this guy up. clear path to the end and this is a win okay well he needs to swap off his bishop for the pawn and then I'm going to uh, defend my pawn so he can't get to it then I'm going to take his pawn so he should yep there we go. If I went straight here, he would have defended it. And now I should just be able to run this guy to the end. And I'll get I'll find a way to get out for my king. Just play a move like this. Then he can't go up. Go across. Sacrifice my knight and get the pawn to the end. There you go. Big game of switching back, forward, left to right. Gets a win. Alright. I think uh Probably it for now. Um.